Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. Today's DIY is a Dollar Tree lighting idea using spoons. I got clear serving spoons. Now because the Dollar Tree that I went to does not have all of the types that I wanted, I got two different clear types of serving spoons. Each pack has two serving spoons inside. And I'll be using eight packs of this type. And seven packs of the other one. In order for me to get clean cuts, I'm going to be using a jigsaw to cut off the parts that I don't need. The blade I'm using is meant for metals, but it can also be used to cut plastic. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I know a lot of you are probably wondering why I am cutting like this. Yes, I don't have a workshop yet. I have just my craft room and I don't want to have it all cluttered with a lot of things because I don't use my jigsaw a lot. I did not really create a space for it. I mean like a cutting station. I don't really have a cutting station, but I am definitely making plans on having a bigger space for my work. I kept aside the parts that I cut off because I just might use them for another project. Now, here are the pieces that I have, and these are the ones that I'm gonna be spray painting gold. They have a different kind of pattern at the bottom, so I'm gonna use it for my project. This is a 12 inch embroidery hoop that I'm gonna be using for the project. I cut it into two first and then cut the other half into another smaller piece. And then I took a six inch embroidery hoop and cut a small piece out of it to make it flow with the rest of the design. Now for the second piece in the middle, instead of using pieces of a cutout from a 12 inches hoop, I would recommend using half of a 10 inches hoop just to make it have a more rounder shape. This is a leftover plastic sheet of mine from another project. And I got a whole sheet from Home Depot and I use it a lot for my DIYs. This will be attached together with a cutout hoop. Here's a board that I got from Walmart a while back, and it's a chalkboard. Now I'll be using this board and cutting it down to size and attaching the cutout hoop inside. You can also use a canvas panel or a light board, whichever one that's easily accessible to you. I'm using a plastic sheet instead of a regular poster board because it's hard and it will be able to hold the weight of the spoons. Wow. 
I'll be making three of these according to the size of the hoops that I had cut earlier. I'll be covering the boards and the plastic sheets with gold contact paper and the link for all the items that I used in this DIY is going to be down in the description box below. I did not attach the gold contact paper to the first piece because I'm going to be touching it a lot during the project so that's going to be last. This is the piece of wood that I'm going to be attaching all of the three pieces to it. I'll be using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to attach the three designs to the piece of wood. To make it easy for me, I'm gonna be attaching the first one and making sure that all of the spoons have been attached on it first before then attaching the second pattern at the bottom and then going on and on before I get to the third pattern. This is going to make it so much easier to have the spoons attached to the patterns without having any obstructions at the bottom. I will lift up the spoons as you can see here. Now they're going to be resting on the hoop that I have inside the plastic sheet. Now you see why I had to use the hoop inside the plastic sheet. That is just so that it would be able to hold the weight of the spoons for this design. Even if this is going to be mounted on the wall, you don't want spoons sagging down. And to avoid that, the hoop that's inside the plastic sheet is going to make it straight and upward. I cut off the excess parts that's by the side to give the design a better look. To hold the cutout spoons at the last pattern here at the bottom, I actually attached a piece of wood on the inside to make sure that the spoons stay upright. I do apologize for not showing that because I couldn't find the clip. This is definitely an error on my part and I apologize again for that. I cut off the excess part here as well like I did for the one at the top. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be covering this upper part here with gold contact paper. I'll be using this lighting for the project and it has a place here where you can turn it on and off. So I'm going to mount it in such a way that I have easy access to turn it on and off. Now I would have used a remote control push light, but I decided to just use something else for this project. Now here's a recommendation. This was the lighting that I was supposed to use before, but it's for a different project and I had just one. So if you guys are interested, you can get this one and use it for this project. And the link for it is going to be down in the description box below. All the lights can be connected together and it also comes with a fuse that you can actually plug to an electrical outlet. I'll be mounting what I made with command strips that can hold up to 16 pounds. Here's what it looks like with the lights off and what it looks like with the lights on. Like I said before, I mounted this in such a way that my hand can go in to turn the lights on and off. 
you can easily use push lights that comes with the remote or the recommendation that I had shown you guys earlier. Who knew the Dollar Tree spoons can look this pretty on a wall? I really love the way it turned out and I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.